let's talk new year and actual new beginnings. Like seriously, I've mentioned this already, but the reality is, is are you living the life that you dreamed of? Are you living the life that you want? Are you in the particular environment, employment, um, job, business, you, you know, are you an entrepreneur is your investments, it's your business going the way you want it to. Are you providing the type of life that you wanted to provide for your family, for your wife, your kids, your husband, your whatever? You know, are you being able to do the things you want? Are you being able to look out for your, you know, we're about to have my mother-in-law move up here to be close to us. Um, I'm hoping my dad's going to move up here too. But are you leading a life that you're able to provide what you want to provide for your loved ones as they're getting older, as they might need things, as they get ill? Um, do you have the extra capable means that if, say, your cousin or your brother or your sister, best friend, coworker, reached out to you and said, hey, something happened, are you able to step up and bless them and be there for them, help them through that difficult situation? Ultimately, there's lots of people that are looking at 2024 as this is a year that things are about to get really bad. And ultimately the reason everybody's looking at it that way is because everybody's got the wrong perspective. Now it doesn't mean that there's not problems in the world because there absolutely is, but people's perspective is all in them. They're approaching it with my manipulative intent. They're approaching it from the perspective of wanting to win, of wanting their side to be the hero. Right? And it's it's an election year, okay? It's an election year. It's a big deal. So the media wants you to believe what they want you to believe. Either they want you to be on the side of the government or they want you to be against the government or they want you to be on the left or they want you to be on the right. And everybody else is the same way, the majority of them. The majority of people are looking at these situations and saying, hey, this is a perfect opportunity, <clears throat> excuse me, opportunity for me to take credit for the good throw shade towards those others for the bad, pass the buck where I can, and reap the glory when I can. That's not reality though. The reality is that everything in the world takes time. Almost nothing has, almost everything has a ripple effect. Almost nothing has instantaneous effects. Some things do, but most things don't. And I'm talking about the eco economic structure of our society and the country and the world that we live in right now and the way things that are going. These things, nobody who's in office right now can just instantly say, hey, you know what I did last week? That fixed everything. Or, hey, you know what that guy did last week? That ruined everything. Because it doesn't really work that way. And the reality is if you take a step back, you really get away from all the headlines, all the social media, all the mainstream media, all the noise of your coworkers and your buddies and your pals, and they all just mean well, they do. I mean, you know, a lot of them are manipulative, but some of them truly mean well. Your buddies, your pals, your cousins, you know, they're trying to tell you things because they care, because they bought into a soundbite. And the soundbite at the time sounded logical, sounded like it made sense. Are we worried about the dollar right now? Are we worried about crypto? Are we worried about the stock market? Are we worried about inflation? Are we worried about the price of gas? Man, the price of gas is the lowest it's been in several years now. But there will be people who will argue with me that I'm wrong, and that's fine. Ultimately, all that matters is this is the year of opportunity though. Regardless of the price of gas, regardless of the price of a jug of milk, regardless of how much the housing market, and the housing market is off the chain, man, that mess is ridiculous. There are houses that are going for so much more than they should, and there's other people who don't realize the value of their houses, and it's we're in a very fickle market. I got a couple of buddies who are in real estate, and this is not something that I don't know what I'm talking about, I absolutely do. Real estate market is kinda wild right now, and if you're really good, you can make a whole lot of money. If you're really good, you can snake a great property. If you're really patient and willing to compromise, you can get in that good spot. But it's also an opportunity for people to take advantage of those because other people don't know how they're being taken advantage of because of the way the market's fluctuation, the way the market's so fickle, and the way it's just, just kind of all over the place. That causes a lot of uncertainty, unsettle in your, in your chest, in your stomach, 
makes you question everything. Do I know what I'm doing? Is it going to be okay? You know what you need to do? You need to start making more money. Stop worrying about where the world's at. Stop worrying about where the economy's at. Economy fluctuates, man. It's not the first time it's been down. It's not the first time it's been up. And it won't be the last time that it's been up or down. There's good and bad things in the economy right now. I promise you there is good and bad things in the economy right now. But there's going to be more bad and there's going to be more good. And it's going to be okay because at the end of the day, it's all a matter of what you allow to affect you. And if you're going to allow it to control it. And some people have this idea, oh, well, we can't control it because it's going to control us. No, it's really not. You got to step up and make changes. If you don't have the life that you want, do something you've never done. Yeah, that's right. If you haven't started that business yet that you've been you've had it in the back of your mind for a long time, you wanted to launch this business. You had this great idea. Is this product that everybody needs that isn't out there? Or maybe there's a product out there and you're like, it could be better. This is that chance, man. This is that opportunity right now. Right now, because right now we are in a special moment. We've been in a special moment over the last couple of years. People don't see it. There's a lot of people who do, but there's too many that don't. And it's because if you focus on the good, you got no control. People want to focus on the bad so they can control. People can focus on the bad and say, hey, look what he messed up. Look what she messed up. Look what they did. Look what they did. It's like, no, 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 no. And people have this inherent need to complain and whine and cry and bicker over nonsense. We are in a moment of rebirth. Anything and everything can be produced. Yeah, can be produced. Whatever your idea is, if it's out there, you can produce it better. You can probably produce it cheaper. You can probably produce it quicker. You can add that little special flair that only you have. Everybody has this capability right now to launch and build and grow and develop a business. Everybody does. Are you going to jump on it? Are you going to let that opportunity slip by one more time? Moments like this don't come often in a lifetime. They really don't. These moments are whew, rare and far between. And like I said, you can focus on all the bad that's all around you because there's a lot of it. Or you can see this opportunity. Seize the moment. Seize it. <laughs> like my man M said, you got one chance. One chance. Seize the moment. Freeze it and own it. This is yours. It's right here. Right here. Right now. Just take it. Because if you don't, somebody else will. You want something different? Do something you've never done. Start that side hustle. You're nervous about starting a business. Maybe you don't have the capital. That's fine. You don't want to take a loan out. Or maybe you want to take a loan out, but you're nervous. That's okay, too. That's fair. Start a side hustle. There's a lot of side hustles that take little or nothing to start. Start doing, I mean, so many programs out there to do digital marketing, to do affiliate marketing. I've gotten into affiliate marketing lately. It's a great thing. Start investing. You can trade. You can invest. Don't trade and don't invest without taking the time to get knowledge though. So if you don't have the time to really put into learning that, maybe that's not the thing. And affiliate marketing, it also takes a little bit of time and a little bit of, a little bit of learning. There, there's so many different opportunities though. Literally, they're at Christmas time, Christmas. They literally, there's a company that will pay you to rank Christmas movies. Now it's January, that's not gonna happen again. But they will pay you to rank movies. You can make $2,500 in the month of December by re watching, reviewing, and critiquing 25 different Christmas films on several parameters. You know how many different side hustles there are like that, that are out there, that it's like, hey, it's a two month gig, you make this much money. Hey, it's a one month gig, you make this much money. Watching 25, you know how many Christmas films me and the boys watched this last December? I didn't think to do that. And you know what, I mean, also that's not really, really my bag. I kind of just like to sit back and enjoy the Christmas movies with my boys. And sometimes I found myself working during them. So taking time to critique them and fill out this form for each one, eh, that didn't happen. But that's what I'm saying. There's so many different opportunities. I want you to follow. I want you to like, subscribe, follow my channel. 
I'm gonna keep talking about different side hustles, different opportunities to make more money. Follow me on Instagram, being Corey B or Bank with Bayless. The opportunities are endless. They really are. And this is your moment. People are wanting to know what to do in the new year, in January. Hey, what am I gonna do to change 2024 and make it different to 2023? This is it. Let's make some money. Let's change your life. Let's stop punching a time clock and start spending more time with your family. That's your boy, I'm out.